The Nipix 5 and one has been around for a while now. In fact, there have been several copycat versions that have been produced, which just goes to show how good a tool this really is. Stay tuned to see it in action when I demonstrate its functions and understand why they're my favorite set of pliers in my electrical tool bag. First of all, you can see that they've got a really nice long nose on them, which is fantastic for getting into the back of deep back boxes. They've got a nice flat edge on the face, coupled with a nice flat surface. So if you're having to pull cables through a back box, just pinching it to, to pull it through, there's little to no damage on the outer sheath. Whereas obviously if you do use the teeth, which are serrated, it will leave a mark, but it that will add a lot of extra grip to it. You can see that's got a little mark on there. But you've got the flat teeth there and you've got rounded for bigger cables or if you've got a, got a holder nut or a bolt, so you can tighten it up with a spanner on the other side of it. Fantastic, fantastic idea on these. With the flat nose on there, it makes it really, really easy to take the knockouts on metal back boxes out. That simple, one knock straight out grab it, twist it, out it comes. And if you're doing things like um, fitting dimmer switches, then with the lugs on the side there, really, really simple, just to push it in and it bends up nice and flat. So that out of the way for all your switch gear and your accessories going in. Plastic back boxes, similar thing, because it's nice and flat, nice and big, doing your knockouts, really, really simple. Just pulls it straight out, straight through there. And because these edges are nice and sharp, you can get in there and you can just deburr some of those edges off. You have to be a little bit careful so you don't break this back box, but with plastic back boxes and IP rated boxes, the plastic's generally softer, so it makes it a lot easier to, to burr those edges off without damaging the box itself. And again, because they're flat, you can just open it up if you need to with the smaller knockouts and just push the hole straight out. Ready for your, ready for your screws. Or again, so you've got these knockouts here. Straight out, really, really simple, fantastic tool. There are wire strippers on here, um, rated from 0 0.7 millimeters all the way to 2.5. Piece of 2.5 twin and earth here. Really is that simple. And no damage to the copper core whatsoever. These jaws are fantastic. They're nice and big and they've got that curve to it, which means when you need to cut your cable, very simple, but there's no crushing to the insulation whatsoever. And what's better is, is they're rated for cutting up to 15 millimeter cable. This is some 16 millimeter tails. Really, really simple and sharp and great for just taking that outer sheaf off. And if you, when you need to, you do the inner sheaf too. Really, really lovely pair. But the one thing I do like about these as well is that I know they're not rated for it, but taking a piece of 25 millimeter meter cable and with a little bit of extra pressure, it will just snip straight through it. And again, there's no damage done to the outer core there. They truly are an excellent piece of kit. And when you get to know the balance of, of these snips and how they actually work. Things like stripping flexible cable is second to none. Really, really simple. Again, can just cut through it like a hot knife through butter. But just a very light cut. So you haven't actually gone far enough of that one. And just leaves a nice, clean, edge and you'll see there I haven't gone through to any of the cores damaging the sheath below. 
taking the wire strippers here. Perfect. Really, really simple, easy, quick, easy tool. And what's even better is they have a built-in crimping tool, which just slide that on there. Always on the camera, isn't it? That's why I always keep a spare. Slide it on. Now these crimping tools are rated from 0 0.5 to 2.5 millimeter cable. You literally just line it up, push it in, give it a squeeze. One perfectly crimped cable. And if you've got a little bit overhanging on the top there, just snip off. Insulated to a thousand volts AC and lightweight, any electrical toolkit, in my opinion, isn't complete without a set of these. Please let me know in the comments your experiences of using these pliers. In fact, do you even have a set? Are you thinking of buying some? I really do think they really are that good. But do you? Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you again soon.